Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny Taken King video. And in this video, I want to bring you guys a really quick Hadium Flake farming guide. Now, I put one of these up the other day and I basically showed you guys loads of different chest locations among loads of different areas in the Dreadnought. And that video is still viable, so if you haven't seen that, I will link it in the description box down below. But this particular Hadium Flake farm, while it is a little bit tricky to get right, when you can do it, it is extremely lucrative. So for those of you that have got alts and are going for say like a second or a third sword, or maybe you're still on your first one, then this could help you speed up the process. If you guys do find this helpful, then a like would be massively appreciated so that other people can see this video too. Also, quick shout out to Reddit user Heartless Nobody because he was the first one to put this video up. I then went and did some testing and then found out there were actually a couple of conditions in order to kind of make this work. So I thought I'd bring you guys a slightly more detailed guide, but regardless, I will still leave a link to his original video in the description box down below. Now, first up, this takes place in the mausoleum. So what you want to do is when you spawn in the hull breach, you want to run underneath the engine all the way to the mausoleum. And then once you get out, you want to cross over to the other side as if you're going towards the fountains. And it's in this room here that you want to be. See, there's a chest that can spawn in this room or just outside. And the reason this is important is because this applies the exact same logic that we used in the House of Wolves when we were farming those treasure key chests at first. If you cast your mind back to the very first time the House of Wolves event dropped, it was possible to open the treasure key chests, then drive to another area, drive back, and then open it again. Well, that logic applies here. See if the chest spawns in this room or just outside, you can open it up, quickly run down towards the founts, turn around, come back, and then open it again. However, the cool thing about this one is that the chest isn't on a timer. So unlike the House of Wolves chests, this will not despawn. Unless, of course, someone enters the area. See, this is what makes this so tricky. This is a little bit situational, because being a chest farm, the chest does spawn in a load of different locations. At first, when you enter the area, it will not always be in this room, which means what you need to do is run around the area, farming chests, until it finally spawns either in there or just outside. Once you've done that, you also need to hope that there's no one else in the area, because if there are other players in the area, then when they're moving around, they'll actually cause the chest to despawn. However, if you're lucky enough to be in this area on your own, and you open the chest, run down to the founts and run back, you'll find that it doesn't despawn, you can then open it again, and you can run back and repeat the process as many times as you want, or at least as many times as you can, until someone eventually enters the area. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. It is a super quick farm, a little bit situational, but in all honesty, it's one of those things that I imagine Bungie will patch at some point, because they did patch the House of Wolves chests, so in the meantime, if you are trying to get these Hadian Flakes as fast as possible, then I'd recommend doing this while you still can. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.